guys, welcome to today's video. I will be covering, yay, the Beauty Blender sponge. This is a super in-depth tutorial of what I do with the Beauty Blender, how I use it on set, and how to care for it. Like and subscribe and follow along and we're gonna get blending. Okay, so I am back sans makeup took all my face makeup off and I'm gonna show you what your beauty blender should look like before you use it. Here's a dry beauty blender, it's small, okay? In comparison to the damp one that's big, it's fluffy, it makes a little squishy sound, this one's just boring, okay? This is a common thing I see girls do where they'll take their beauty blender and try to use it dry and I'm like, girl, that's not how you use a beauty blender. It should always be damp. So I'll wash my beauty blender take like a paper towel or a napkin, whatever you have laying around and squeeze it out the excess water and then it's ready to go. Today I'm using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation, full coverage. Some people put their product right on the sponge. I personally don't because it is a sponge. So I think that's a very wasteful way to spend your makeup. So I will usually take some of the product and I start in the middle of my face like so. Take my beauty blender and bouncing and blending. The technique and the technology, I guess, behind the beauty blender is it's supposed to be made to like bounce on the product. So you're, instead of like a brush where you're going like more in this motion, the beauty blender will bounce it on. And I think that's a good word to remember because that is what helps blend your foundation. The other amazing part is it kind of really makes your makeup look amazing and really dewy. It's nice to get a really flawless look on your skin with no like lines or weird parts that aren't blended. The sponge will help that because remember, it is a sponge, but it's also an applicator. So the application process is bouncing on your foundation. My foundation is on feeling great, nice and dewy. I don't feel too cakey, even though this is a full coverage. The Beauty Blender like made it like thinned it out or something, so it's just not so heavy. I'm moving on to the next step, which is concealer. I'm gonna use my Tarte Concealer and just dot on the areas where I have a little bit of darkness, nice. Now, the nice part about the Beauty Blender is the shape of it. It has like a point. Obviously you can see that, like an egg. So this is gonna be the smaller area to where you can access the smaller parts of your face. They do have a baby beauty blender. I always lose the baby beauty blender. It's so small, I like having the big one. So I'll kind of squish it down a little bit and just use the end. And look at that little corner. You can really get in there and blend that concealer. And again, I'm using the same kind of bounce motion Bouncy, bouncy. Get that dark circle to go away. Love. So nice. Again, pinching the end and getting into the corners. Wah, wah. I look bright. I look awake. I look like my son did not just interrupt me like he does all day long. <laughs> okay, so my concealer's on and now I'm going to set it. So I've actually showed this in another video, which was how to prevent your under eye makeup from creasing. It was using translucent powder <laughs> and your beauty blender. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, is get a little powder on my beauty blender. I usually always use the Laura Mercier and I'll just dump a little in the lid. And now I am going to do the technique where I squeeze and make it a tiny bit smaller. And I'm just setting my under eye. Voila. This will prevent it from creasing. Now I feel so covered, so awake. Under eye, done. And now I'm going to use the same beauty blender to put on my blush. This is a great way to use a cream blush. If maybe you don't wanna use your hands or a brush or it intimidates you a little bit, you can just go in right with your beauty blender. Still gonna use my finger a little bit and just tap it on my cheeks and get it right on the apples. 
If you've watched any of my other videos, I showed you how to find the apples of your cheeks, go in with my beauty blender and just bounce the product on. This actually, as I'm doing it, I'm thinking like, this is kind of an amazing way for you to get started if you've never used a cream product before, whether it be blush or bronzer, use it with your beauty blender. I feel like it's a very good tool, even for beginners. So your look is done. I have used my beauty blender for four products, my foundation, my concealer, setting my concealer with powder, and I even did my blush using my beauty blender. For a $20 sponge, I feel like you've gotten your money's worth. I do want to go over a few pro tips with your beauty blender. Don't forget, this is a sponge, so you don't want to use it while it's damp and then say throw it in your makeup case, zip up your makeup case put it away for 24 or 48 hours, okay? Since it's a sponge, I always leave mine out like on my counter, on my windowsill in my bathroom and let it dry. You don't want it to get moldy, okay? Clean your beauty blender about maybe once a week, depending on how often you use it. Just a little soap and water, squeeze, 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 wring out the product. They do sell specific cleaner for the Beauty Blender, so you can always pick that up also. So you can buy the Beauty Blender at Sephora, Ulta, Nordstrom's, any of the big beauty stores, you can buy your Beauty Blender. And the last thing I will say about this is you probably wanna get a new one every three months. So hopefully this was helpful. The Beauty Blender is nothing new, but it is a great tool to put in your kit. Maybe you use it for something that I didn't mention. Comment below, let me know how you use your Beauty Blender. Like and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on that little bell so you don't miss a video ever. And have a great day. We'll make it nice and blendable. <laughs> My son is at the door.